Okay, today's video is all about box and whisker plots, and you might also hear that called box plots. Okay, make sure that you have these materials. Notice the graph paper is optional. Some people like to use it for their number lines, some people don't care to. That's totally up to you. And then you have vocabulary words. We've got range, median, and quartiles. Range, of course, is how big of a span the data falls um, across. So we've got the largest minus the smallest. We've got the median, which of course is the middle number. And make sure you put them in order. That's the key there. And then quartiles. Quart. Do you hear the, the beginning sound there? Quartiles. Four parts. We're dividing the data up into four parts. And of course that would go along with one quarter. So we're going to be taking the data and dividing it up into one quarters, calling them quartiles. Alright, pause the video if you need to and then come on back. We're going to do some examples together. Alright, the first one, if you would make sure that you have all seven pieces of data recorded down. Pause the video if you need to to make sure you have them. And we're going to go ahead and go through the steps on how to make a box and whisker graph. So step number one is we're going to be putting the numbers in order. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that together. We have two, four, seven, eight. All right. And please make sure that you have all the data pieces. Some people like to cross them off as they go, circle them. Um, I'm just going to count. I've got seven data values up here. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven here. So I believe I have them all. All right. Step two, you're going to be finding the median. Remember, that means the middle number. So you're working your way towards the middle. All right. Some people like to cross them off. That's up to you. All right, we've got one number in the middle. So the median is 8 in this case. The middle number is 8. Okay? Next, notice how if I were to put a line, let's say, through that 8, we've got a bottom half and a top half. I want you to find the median of the bottom half. Median of the bottom half. So you're going to be ignoring all these other numbers, and you're looking at the 2, the 4, and the 7, and the median of that would be 4. Very good. All right, now we're going to look at the top half. So again, notice I'm covering up the middle number, the 8, my median. I'm covering that up. I'm only looking at the top half. So we have 8, 11, and 12. What's the median of those three? 11. Good. We have all the pieces of data we need. See how easy that was? All right, let's graph them. Here I have a number line, and here's where if you have a piece of graph paper, it might be helpful for you to use that since you already have the lines that can help you with the tick marks and also the straight. That's totally up to you. If you do use a piece of graph paper, after you draw your box plot, just cut it out of that graph paper and tape or staple or glue that into your notebook. All right, so here's my number line. Notice I'm going from 0 to 16. I didn't number every single um, tick mark because I just don't have room. It would be too congested and hard to read. So I just wrote every one. Notice I do have a 1, a 3, a 5, etc. Okay? Give yourself time to do that. And now we're going to graph that all of these pieces of data. We've got the middle number is an 8. So we're going to graph 8. The median of the bottom half is 4. And the median of the top half is 11. Now, in addition to those three pieces of information, we're also going to add in the largest and the smallest. The largest number in our list is 12, so we're going to put a little dot there. And the smallest number we have is 2, so we're going to put a dot there. Now, how do we make it a box and whisker? Well, first we're going to do the box. The box is going to go around the middle dots. Notice I have the one in the center. That's, we're going to put a line right through that. So you have the center dot has, or the median, has a line through it. And then the box is going to connect the other two dots, one before and one after. The whiskers, kind of like the whiskers of a kitten, it'll look something like that. Now, quartiles. Quartiles. Here's where our data is starting. So the 4 is our first quartile. Our first quartile. From here to here is 25% of our data. This middle median number is our second quartile. This would be another 25% of our data. 
This, of course, makes the 11 the third quartile. 25%, 25%, 25%, and you guessed it at the end, another 25%. So if you obviously adds it all up to be 100%, the box takes up 50% of the data, and the whiskers would take up 50% of the data if you added them together. Each piece represents 25% or one quarter of the data. Quartiles separates the graph into, or the data set, into four parts. Also, you should know the words lower extreme and upper extreme. This would be your upper extreme. Think about that. Upper is the highest value. Extreme, farthest down in the set of data. And this would make this the lower extreme. A lot of times you'll hear um, when we're talking about box and whiskers that you want five pieces of data. Your five pieces of data would be your lower extreme, your first quartile, your second quartile, also called the median, your third quartile, and then your upper extreme. If you need to, jot, your, jot down in your notes what each one of those terms are and kind of write a little description next to them so you can keep track if you ever hear those words again, which I know you will. All right, let's have you do an example on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, write down your test scores, and see if you can do a box and whisker plot. And then come on back and we'll go over this one. This one is slightly different in that it has an even number of numbers. So let's see how you can handle that one. All right, step one, put them in order. All right, let's do it. We have quite a few numbers here. 72, 76, 78, 80, 84, 86, 90, 90, whoops, 90, and 91. All right, let's just double check. There's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 pieces of data. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, we're good to go there. Median number. Find the median number. Working my way towards the middle. Oh, there's two in the middle. Do you remember how to find the median when there's two in the middle? You're going to take these two, add them up, and divide by two. 84 plus 86, and then divide by two. Now this is kind of an easy one. There's only one number in between 84 and 86. That is your median. So the median is 85. Okay? First quartile. 85 comes here, and let me change colors, that might help a little bit. If your median is here, looking at the bottom set of data, so we're not covering up the 84 this time, because that's not your median. 84 would be part of your bottom half. Find the median of your bottom half. It would be 78. How about the median of the top half? It would be 90. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and draw our box and whisker. We have our median is 85. Notice my number line here. I don't have a zero. You don't have to have a zero on your number line. I'm not even anywhere near zero. I'm in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. So that's what I put on my number line. All right, so my median is 85. Notice how I'm putting a point above the number line. 78 is my first quartile and 90 is my third quartile. That's what you put your box around. Hopefully a lot neater than I am right now. And you have a line going through here. Okay, and now we have our lower extreme of 72, and our upper extreme of 91. Notice how short that whisker is. That's one of the disadvantages of a box and whisker plot. We've got, this is a um, lower extreme, our first quartile, our median, our third quartile, and our upper extreme. When you come to class, we're going to do some more examples in class. 
as you can see, it's really not a difficult process. You just got to make sure you have the numbers in order and that you're always finding the median, the median number. And that will help you find your box and whisker flock. We'll be talking about the percentages and the quartiles more in class. See you soon.